There's a lot to love about hotels. The luxury, the service, and of course the giant comfy beds with those fresh white linens. If you've spent any time at all staying in hotels though, you've probably also encountered a few things that confuse and even frustrate you. For example, why are hotel bed sheets always tucked in so dang tight? Imagine this, you've just landed in a strange city after a long, hellish flight. You've endured hours of delays, jet lag, bad weather, and terrifying turbulence to get here. You fought your way through the mad arrivals crowd and fought to get a cab, and then tolerated an overly chatty cab driver and bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic to finally make it to the hotel, only to find out that the hotel has no record of your reservation. What a day! Thankfully, your luck is finally starting to turn. The hotel has one room left for you, and it's a sweet. You're too tired to care about the extra cost at the moment. All you want to do is crawl into that big, comfy hotel bed and sleep for days. You let yourself into your room and hardly even notice the luxurious surroundings as you make a beeline for the giant, plush bed, shedding your clothes as you go. You quickly untuck the sheets at the nearest corner and crawl into the soft sheets ready to slip into oblivion, but you quickly realize that sleep is still out of reach. You just can't seem to get comfortable. You'd be tossing and turning if you could, but the hotel sheets are tucked so tight that you can't move an inch. Exhausted and frustrated, you fight your way out of the sheet trap and frantically rip off all the sheets on the bed. Finally free, you calm down, climb back into the bed, and pull the blankets over yourself. As you finally drift off to sleep though, you can't help but wonder, why oh why are hotel bed sheets always tucked so dang tight? While it may feel like they're playing a prank on you, hotels aren't intentionally short sheeting you. There is a method to the madness when it comes to tucking the sheets so dang tight. Here's something you might not know about hotels, they actually don't use fitted sheets. That's right, all hotel sheets are standard flat sheets, including the bottom one covering the mattress. Anyone who's ever had to wash their own sheets knows how frustrating it can be to wrangle and fold fitted sheets. Hotels go through hundreds of sheets a day, which means efficiency matters. Hotels use automated washing and folding machines to help process their huge volumes of laundry, and these folding machines can only process flat sheets. Using flat sheets also means that hotels only need to stock one size of sheet to fit all of their beds, no matter the size. When making up the beds, housekeepers use a technique called hospital corners to ensure a tight fit and a neat look on the bed. If you've never been in the army, to summer camp, or worked in a hospital, you probably have no idea what hospital corners are. Imagine using a series of overlapping folds to create neat, tight corners with the sheets, kinda like gift wrapping your mattress. Okay, so that explains why the bottom sheet needs to be tucked so tightly, but why can't the top sheets be left untucked? This answer might surprise you. Of course, tucking in the top sheets and quilts protects the edges from dragging on the ground and getting dirty or worn, but the main reason for tucking in the top layer is actually hygienic. Tightly tucked sheets help protect against bed bugs, the greatest foe of hotels everywhere. In some parts of the world, bed bugs are the least of your problems, and tightly tucked sheets just might be the thing that prevents you from sharing your bed with dangerous critters like spiders, scorpions, and snakes. But the most important reason why hotels tuck the sheets so tight has nothing to do with efficiency or even hygiene. It's all about appearances. It's actually become the standard across the hotel industry to make the bed with the sheets tightly tucked in on all sides and the bedding folded down at the top so the guests can quickly see that the sheets are clean and know that the bed was professionally made just for them. A neatly made bed clearly sends the message that no one else has touched anything that's about to touch you. Plus, with sheets so tight, you know no one else could have possibly slept in your bed. On that last note, why do hotels use white linens in the first place? You would think that white would be the last color you'd pick for sheets and towels that will see so much use. Again, it's about both efficiency and appearances. Psychologically, our minds automatically associate white with clean. And hotels leverage this mental trick by using bright white sheets to signal to us that the room is clean, fresh, and made up just for us. White sheets are actually easier to wash too, since the entire load can be bleached to disinfect and remove any stains. Hotels also typically use a laundry product with a whitening agent that actually deposits into the fabric and reflects light, making the white linens look even brighter. However, you might want to skip the comforter altogether during your next hotel stay because the sheets are meant to prevent your body from coming into contact with the comforter and since the sheets are changed between every guest, the comforter is really only washed about once a week. Yuck. And that fancy decorative blanket at the end of the bed, it's actually there to protect the linens from your luggage and it hardly ever gets washed. Don't even go there. So what other tricks do hotels use to signal to their guests that the room is clean and freshly made up? 
Well, have you ever wondered why the toilet paper in hotel rooms is always folded? All over the world, from the fanciest hotels to the most basic hotels, you'll find the end of the roll of toilet paper folded into all kinds of shapes. From a simple triangle to more intricate shapes like flowers and swans, toilet paper origami has taken on a life of its own. It may seem wasteful, since that tiny piece of art is just going to end up being destroyed, but there's a reason behind it. Just like with tightly tucked sheets, folded toilet paper assures guests that their room has been professionally cleaned. There's another trick at play here too. Housekeepers don't always change the toilet paper roll between every guest. There's no need to be wasteful and throw away a perfectly good half-full roll, but there's nothing worse than a guest finding an empty toilet paper roll in their bathroom. It immediately makes them question whether their room was properly cleaned. So, hotels came up with an ingenious way to ensure that their housekeepers never miss this small but important step by making it part of the housekeeper's standard checklist to fold the end of the toilet paper roll. Then, by default, they would have to check that the roll is not empty before they can fold the paper. By putting the focus on the fold, the important step of replacing the roll never gets missed. In case you're curious, researchers actually figured out just how much time is spent on toilet paper origami. They figured out it takes about one hour per year per hotel room just to fold a simple triangle every time the room is turned over. Globally, that adds up to more than 10 million man hours or more than 5,000 man years of folding every year in all of the hotels around the world. And as shocking as that might be, some research suggests that toilet paper origami actually leads to higher tips for housekeepers, so if you enjoyed your bathroom art, be sure to show your appreciation with a good tip. And that's just the toilet paper. Hotel housekeepers do many other little things to make sure they've completed their cleaning checklist and reassure us that our room is fresh and clean. Some hotels, especially fancier resorts, have their housekeepers fold bath towels into origami shapes like swans and leave them on the bed, which ensures you get fresh towels and signals that both the bed and the towels are clean. Housekeepers also have to make sure that they lay out the complimentary swag like shampoo and conditioner, soap, pens, and notepads. Just like with the toilet paper fold, having to arrange the toiletries in a certain way acts like a built-in checkpoint for the housekeepers, ensuring that they have cleaned each area and run through a mental checklist of supplies to be refilled. As guests, those carefully designed displays once again make us feel like our room was prepared just for us. Also, did you know that hotels actually want you to steal the soap and pens? That's just why the hotel's logo is on so many of those small items. It's free advertising after all. Just don't try stealing the bathrobes and blaming it on us. After learning all about the sneaky ways hotels assure us that our rooms are clean, you may be left wondering, what other bizarre things do hotels do to get us to part with our hard-earned money? Of course, there's the infamous minibar racket. Hotels know exactly how confusing guests find it to navigate their menu of free versus paid items. In fact, they're counting on it. By making a few items free and placing them right next to items that are decidedly not free and probably way overpriced, they know that you are more likely to just grab that chocolate bar you've been eyeing rather than walk across the room to double check the menu and make sure it's on the free list. Even worse are the mini bars with the motion sensors. These fridges are rigged up with motion sensors that can tell when you so much as nudge an item, let alone pick it up to read the label and contemplate opening it. The hope is that you'll just go ahead and consume it once it's in your hand, since you'll worry that you've been charged already or that you forgot to check your bill and ask them to have the charge reversed after checkout. You might think fleeing the mini bar and escaping to the real bar in the lobby will protect the wallet, but there are more surprises in store for you there. Perhaps you're planning to have one quick drink before retiring to your room, but before you know it, you're more than a few drinks in and trying to decide if you should just stay up all night at this point. You can thank those free snacks at the bar for getting you into this pickle. These supposedly free salty snacks are designed to make you thirstier so that, you guessed it, you'll buy more drinks. Speaking of bars, can you imagine if that bar charged you extra to have ice in your drinks? That may seem crazy to us now, but it was not all that long ago that you would have been charged by the cube. Before refrigerators and freezers could be found in every home, most people simply had an ice box stocked with large blocks of ice to keep their perishables cold. And icy cold drinks were an expensive luxury. Hotels were one of the few places where icy cold drinks could be found, and stocking enough ice to meet the needs of their bars was an astronomical cost. Once ice makers came on the market, hotels were some of the earliest and most enthusiastic customers, and nowadays you'd be hard-pressed to find a hotel without an ice bucket in each room and a free ice machine on each floor. At least we can thank hotels for making free ice the norm. 
So what do you think of these tricks that hotels use to look cleaner and fancier and to get us to spend more? Do you think it will influence your future hotel experiences? Be sure and let us know in the comments. If you thought this video was enlightening, you'll definitely want to check out this illuminating video titled, Why is it illegal to cut off mattress tags and other weird laws? Short sheeting might be the least of your mattress worries. And as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.